Christ. I see Christ in you. You my brother. Okay, hold on. Yeah, I see Christ in you. I esteem on my bros to be better than me. Truth be told. Truth be told. This is what we must do to avoid envy. Truth be told. Truth be told. And blacks and Hispanics are family. Truth be told. Truth be told. I just pray you see Christ when you see me. Truth be told. Truth be told. Shalom. Most high in Christ bless. You are now tuning into Truth Be Told DC, broadcasting live via listenvisionlive.com. Be sure to tune in every Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to hear the truth according to the Bible, hosted by IUIC DC. For music, clothing, and instruments of learning, Visit OriginalRoyalty.com and IsraelUnite.org. Shalom. Shalom, fam. Welcome back to the Truth Be Told DC. I'm your host, Officer Matthew. And to my right, Officer Phineas, Soldier Michael. And to my left, Officer Mendel. So. Yeah, this is a new studio set up here, all praises. So we're going to today's topic is your pastors are blind. So before we get that, let's open up with John eight thirty two. The book of John, chapter eight, verse thirty two. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. So the truth is according to the Holy Bible that you so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are indeed the biblical Israelites, and you must repent and keep the commandments in the faith of Christ. So before we get on with the lesson, we want to do a recap of the debate. You know, it was a debate uh, last Thursday and Friday with Bishop Nathaniel and Bishop Kanai, uh, Captain Uzziah, and Officer Zakar versus uh, Dr. Maxwell and Dr. Evans. So we're going to run this video real quick. It's just a brief video to give a recap of the debate. So uh, go ahead and roll. Okay. Uh, before we get the video, let's go ahead and... Um, uh, oh, go, go with Hosea 4 and 6. This right here, this scripture is going to really sum up also that debate. We're going to show you some a little brief snippet of debate. But get that real quick in Hosea. The book of Hosea, chapter 4, verse 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. So that knowledge isn't talking about science and mathematics. The knowledge that we're destroyed from is God's laws. When you look at our communities, it's evident that we're destroyed. I will also... My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge uh -huh. because thou hast rejected knowledge. So we do a good job as blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are rejecting God's knowledge. And we hold to the knowledge of Esau, Ishmael, Ham. Keep going. I will also reject thee. He will do what? I will also reject thee. And when you look at our communities, clearly we have been rejected. That thou shalt be no priest to me. So no priest to the Most High because we reject it because what does a priest do? A priest keeps the laws. Seeing thou hast forgotten the law of mm. thy God, I will also forget thy children. That's why we consider the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But go, let's go ahead and roll this recap real quick. It's only about 40 seconds to, to get a, a brief recap of the debate. About six inches, which will probably be nullified if he comes forward toward Tyson as we expect him to do. Round one is about to begin. The referee is Joe Cortez in New York State. Scoring is done by three judges. The referee does not score. Scoring on the round system. Supplemental four-point uh, scoring system if the rounds wind up even. And the three knockdown rule is in effect. Tyson comes out slugging. He comes out smoking like Marvis's father, Joe. Marvis must move or we're going to be out of here very, very quickly. Uppercut and Marvis is hurt. Razor is down. Joe Cortez moves in to have a look. And he's going to stop the fight. It did not last 20 seconds. Tyson goes over to take a look at Marvis Frazier, obviously quite concerned. A terrific uppercut. So that was Dr. John Maxwell and Dr. Evans versus Bishop Nathaniel and uh, Bishop Kanai. 
really going against the scriptures. That was the, the most high TK on them. So that was a brief recap of the fight because that's exactly what took place there. So let's go ahead and uh, read that again, that Hosea 4 and 6. The book of Hosea, chapter 4, verse 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Uh -huh. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. So our people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Our people listen to Dr. Evans, Dr. Maxwell, Creflo Dollar, and our communities are getting worse and worse. That thou shalt be no priest to me. Because when you a priest holding the commandments, not getting TKO'd like you just seen in the fight, because the words that we come with are the words of this Bible. They were really going against the scriptures and they got demolished. Seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God. Because they were in there saying the law was done away with. Mm -hmm. I will also forget thy children. There you go. You so. know another thing, they was boastful too. Like right. We undefeated, we undefeated we and all this, that, and the third. Yeah, I looked the dude up because I hadn't heard of him before. I went online and I was typing him in, and he, his title was The Great Debater. Right. <laughs> I know one thing. They look just like that fight with uh, Mike Tyson. Yeah, they exactly. And, and the people in that seminary school better be demanding a refund. I'm going to tell you straight because I'd be one mad. I'd be one mad student if I was under learning under them dummies. But go ahead and get um. Didn't get that. You got you got <coughs> bishops of Kanai, bishop Kanai, bishop Nathaniel that didn't go to any uh, school, right? Seminary school, uh, seminary school, but they came in and embarrassed you in front of your school. Right, and then on the second day of the debate, sent officer, uh, sent Captain Uzziah and officers a car, right, and the students and and them young lines really tore into him, man. Right, right. You know. It was embarrassing. It was bad. It was real bad. So let's go ahead and get this Malachi 2 and 7 for what this knowledge is. The book of Malachi, chapter 2, verse 7. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. They should do what? That, should that, keep they knowledge. They, they wouldn't do that. Right. They was in there keeping philosophies of men and got smashed to pieces by the words of the Most High. And they should seek the law at his mouth. No, they should seek man-made traditions. And they should seek the law at his mouth. There you go. Just that simple. Go ahead and um, get Ecclesiastes 12 and 12. Because these guys, the great debaters, <laughs> all these books and all these we titles. 13 and, and 0. Right. 13, 14 and 0. <laughs> all this madness. They were talking about how many degrees they handed out. And all this, all this garbage. Let's see what the Bible said about that foolishness. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12, verse 12. And further by these, my son. Be admonished of making many books. To get a de doctor's degree and all that. Think you got some knowledge. Let's see what the scripture right. saying. There is no end. There's what? There is no end. Uh-huh. And much study is the weariness of the flesh. Because them brothers look worried up there on that podium. Sweating. Interrupting. Being rude. I mean, the them demons yeah, started cheating. coming out. Yeah, they, they was, was cheating. Emotion. They was yeah. getting emotional. They yeah. was they was upset. They was breaking their own protocol that they set in place. Then they because threw the they tile in. then yeah, then they ain't even finish up the last topic. They just went on ahead and threw the towel in. So let's go ahead and get this Isaiah 34 and 16. Because this is what we do according to the scriptures, man. We're not worried about how many degrees and titles, because Christ and the apostles didn't go to no seminary school. Let's get that straight. And they damn sure wasn't charging people astronomical figures to go learn and then got them not to mention you learning a bunch of foolishness we got members that could have went up there and put them brothers to shame mm. the book of isaiah chapter 34 verse 16 seek ye out of the book of the lord and read now learn from john maxwell what's his name was john maxwell doctor whatever dr maxwell. Yeah, seek, maxwell. seek you out of the book of the lord and read. Uh huh. No one of these shall fail. Mm -hmm. None shall want her mate. Because you, none of the promises in the Bible are going to fail. And you can't make the Bible with the Quran, the Book of the Dead, the 42 negative sayings of my aunt or whatever. No, the, the Bible stands alone. For my mouth it hath commanded. Uh huh. And his spirit it hath gathered them. Mm hmm. So let's go ahead and go to this Acts. Because we get, we get caught up. What's up? Okay, now you good. Yeah, so, again, I think some of them videos are actually up on YouTube with that debate, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. I think they... Yeah, some, they some, some, some of them copies some, up there, but we're going to wait till Right, the official, official one come out. out. The book of Acts, chapter 19, verse 19. Many of them also, which used curious arts, brought their books together mm. and burned them before all men. And they counted the price of them 
and found 50,000 pieces of silver. Mm. So mightily grew the word of God and prevailed. So they stacked up all these books and nothing could compare to the scriptures. You're not putting any books against scripture, no doctor's degree, none of that up against the Holy Bible. Hey, let me get this scripture for you right now. Yeah, go ahead. Bring that out. This is Jeremiah 6 and 26 because this 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 is these brothers for among my people are found wicked men they lay wait as he that set of snares mm. they set a trap they catch men as a cage is full of birds so are their houses full of deceit mm. therefore they are become great and wax rich they are waxen fat they shine Yea, they overpass the deeds of the wicked. They judge not the cause, the, the cause of the fatherless. Yet they prosper, and the right of the needy do they not judge. There you go. I mean, that's clear, because that's what them brothers is doing. They wax fat down there. They got, like, that whole town down there on lock. Yep. Street named after them. Streets that. named after them and all that. They're going to tear all that garbage down after that, because them <laughs> brothers is just flat out embarrassed. <laughs> The book of Isaiah, chapter 46, verse 10, declaring the end from the beginning. He did what? Declaring the end from the beginning. And when you look at any good author out there, they always write the end of the book first. So what did the Most High do? Declaring the end from the beginning. Mm -hmm. And from ancient times, the things that are not yet done. There you go. So what was our, what's coming to pass is already ordained. That's telling you at the beginning. So that's the that's the kind of power that we dealing with, man. Their own congregation said it was in birth, man. Right. You had people in there asking for purple shirts. <laughs> man. Vicious, man. Let's go ahead and get this uh video screaming pastor. Yeah, an example of the silliness that goes on in Christian churches with these pastors. Why? Because he cared for you. Don't you know that God, 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 God is so concerned about you? I mean, you're going to hell right now, and you're needing God to work the miracle. Pray that God will not only hear, but God will answer my prayers. The prayer of faith for you, for God to work in your family, and God will do it. The prayer of faith for you. Will cause supernatural miracles to happen for you. Such an hour of, as this, and God. God is using this thing, and God is a prayer answering God. All right, let's go right back to the person of prayer. Getting ready to happen for you, girl. Uh, mm. uh, prayer. Quickly, right now. If you're tired of the devil stealing, if you're tired of the devil killing, if you're tired of the devil destroying your life, you must order the person of prayer package, and you got to order it right now. And get ready for supernatural miracles to take place yeah, in your life. home and your life. The God Hallelujah. Hallelujah. is causing those powers to be destroyed. And them, God is healing you. Who called by a shout out of love? Oh, Hallelujah. Thank you. God is healing you. Hold on, oh, that's it right there. God Oh, my God. Tell me how you feel now. I feel good. I feel the Spirit of God. I but feel him all over you, too, Thelma. Yes. God is touching you in such a powerful way right now. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, no, 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 no. Lift those hands before God and tell thank God you. thank you. Ooh, and the snakes, is, I command you to loose your hold off of Thelma's life. No! Ooh, girl, that's it right there. Mm. That's what our people are accustomed to listening to. And that's what them pastors was doing. That's exactly, yeah, exactly what they was doing. Yeah, that's what they was doing up there. All he needed was some blackface on. I'm talking about the context. Right. Right. Get that. I, oh, you got it? Yes, sir. Isaiah 44 and verse 25. That frustrateth the tokens of the liars mm -hmm. and maketh diviners mad. Mm. That turneth wise men backward. 
and maketh their knowledge foolish. Because that's what that's what this Bible does against those pastors. It turns them backwards. It makes the, the wise men mad. It, it does all those things. Because them brothers got all the way out the spirit when they was going up against this Bible. Them lies wasn't standing. Mm-hmm. And and as you, as the night grew on and then the day, the second day, that congregation over there, or the supporters on their side was more than cut in half. There wasn't even nobody over there. Because they seen how foolish that madness was. And them brothers up there stumbling and bumbling through the scriptures. Pull one scripture for 20 minutes. You ain't going to that. That ain't even scripture. Precept upon precept. No, man. no, no. What I like, the one I really like is the Apocrypha is in the Bible, but not of the Bible. Right. <laughs> what? Like, you know more than King James <laughs> and the 47 scholars at that day. Right. Like, you just a fool. That dude was of the devil. <laughs> exactly. Right, yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah, get that Deuteronomy 4, man. Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 4. But ye that did cleave unto the Lord your God mm-hmm. are alive, every one of you, this day. Mm hmm. Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments, even as the Lord my God commanded me, that you should do so in the land whether you go to possess it. That's everywhere we go. We got to be keeping these laws. That's what that's telling you. Keep therefore and do them. Mm. For this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations. So when people look at us and we start keeping these laws, they're not going to be saying, man, they some niggas and coons. Now they're going to say we are wise and understanding people. Which shall hear all these statutes and say, surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. Mm. There you go. That, I mean, that's clear. We, we don't even need to break that down. That's in context, right. according to the scriptures. Especially after that, that uh, embarrassment by these pastors. <sighs> mm-hmm. I don't yeah. know what their mission was supposed to be. Yeah, I tell you what, whatever it was, it, it was definitely a failure. Yep. Major failure. Yeah, nothing but casualties out there. Two roasted coons. Let's go ahead and get that 1 Corinthians 1 and 25. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 25. Because the foolishness of God is wiser than men. Hold on, what? Because the foolishness of God is wiser than men. Mm. And the weakness of God is stronger than men. Mm. So that's telling you the foolishness of God is higher than those men. They couldn't, even, they couldn't stand against nothing coming out of these scriptures. I mean, they do was just sweating profusely up there, stumbling. The one brother just read in all four nights, maybe five scriptures. <laughs> right. Talking about well, you got to keep things in context. Right. That ain't even in the scriptures. To, to get to understand this precept upon precept. It, it was embarrassing. I really was expecting much more. And right. They basically right. brought the things that we hear at camp every week or even out on the streets when you talk exactly. to the typical unlearned Christian. And you can see why they unlearned because they got pastors like that leading them. Yeah, I mean, it was ridiculous, man. You know, I thought they was going to be intellectuals myself. It was, you know, disappointment, man. More so if you was actually paying to learn that madness, honestly. Right. right. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 3, verse 19. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness, foolishness with God. There you go. For it is written, he taketh the wise in their own craftiness. Mm. And again, the Lord knoweth the thoughts of the wise that they are vain. Mm. Therefore, let no man glory in men. Hold up, do what? Therefore, let no man glory in men. No, the great debaters, brother. Let no man glory in men. There you go. For all things are yours. Mm. I mean, that's crystal clear right there. Because they, they would, things they were doing, were just, they was pleases of men. You know, the traditions, the the customs. I mean, they were up there preaching like a sermon with that same stuff yep. we've seen Kearney Williams doing. Yep. God said yep. all that. Like, yep. brother, you're supposed to be debating yep. the scriptures and That's it just turned into an all out coon fest. It was coon tastic, man. Ecclesiastes chapter 1, verse 13. And I gave my heart to seek and to search out by wisdom. Concerning all things that are done under heaven, mm-hmm. this sore travail hath God given to the sons of man to be exercised therewith. Mm-hmm. I have seen all the works that are done under the sun, and behold, all is vanity mm. and vexation of spirit. So, in other words, we got to be sticking to the Bible because that's everything outside of that is vanity. All the works that's not of the scriptures. 
So and that's and going into the all the men's knowledge was all vanity. You know, that goes not just them, but they taught a multitude of preachers mm -hmm. and other teachers that and it's the same doctrine that we learned in slavery. It's all vanity, it's all lies. Nothing that they do that they can substantiate with the scriptures. If, if the bishop just said break down Christmas in the Bible or Thanksgiving, they would have been finished. Because they teaching their congregation to observe them things. The book of Sirach, chapter 1, verse 30. Exalt not thyself, mm. lest thou fall, and bring dishonor upon thy soul. So, 14 and no, brother. 14 and, <laughs> man, one. Them brothers is finished, man. Read that again, because this was happening. This was going to happen to them brothers. And that school probably going to go belly up, too. People see that footage. Sirach, the book of Sirach, chapter 1, verse 30. Exalt not thyself, lest thou fall mm. and bring dishonor upon thy soul because the dishonor upon their souls they put that foolish doctrine up against the holy bible and now they just now they just look that's foolish for the rest of their life totally foolish that's a loss and so god discover thy secrets mm. and cast thee down in the midst of the congregation oh their secrets is that these brothers is dumb as hell and now they cast down people looking at them like you supposed to be a doctor? Now they just looking totally foolish. Because thou camest not in truth mm. to fear the to to the fear of the Lord. Because they don't fear God, because they do whatever they want to do. But thy heart is full of deceit. There you go. There you go. The book of First Corinthians, chapter two, verse six. How be it we speak wisdom among them that are perfect. Mm-hmm. Yet not the wisdom of this world, mm. nor of the princes of this world that come to naught. But we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery. There you go, because the, the wisdom of this world is going to perish. The wisdom of this Bible, this Bible is going to endure forever. It tells you that in Baruch 4 and 1. The Lord, the Lord, which endure forever, man. These words not going anywhere. Even the hidden wisdom, which God ordained, before the world unto our glory that's what we read in isaiah uh uh 46 and 10 declared the end from the beginning the hidden things are the mysteries of the bible like uh bishop went over deuteronomy 28 the brother he read the curses about going to slavery on slave ships yokes of iron on their neck being a proverb and Bible. and the pastor got up and said i don't know what he talking about yeah, totally blinded man, man he said he, the brother said he didn't even understand that he was mm. we, we new testament Man, I tell you what. Yeah, let's go ahead, man. The book of Romans, chapter 10, verse 1. Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to God for Israel is that they might be saved. Mm. For I bear them record that they have a zeal of God, but not according to knowledge. So they got a zeal for God, but not according to knowledge. Mm. Right. So the knowledge is what Officer Matt went over earlier. That's going into the law. Right. They don't have the. They said the law was done away with. He was wasn't he preaching that? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. And God, that, that's what they got <laughs> now. Right right. So we're gonna uh, get another example of the cooning, uh, a little bit exaggerated, but it's pretty much right on point. Oh, it ain't no exaggeration. Yeah, with the South Central pastor. Now, now I realize that 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 every now and again, some of you women folk, you get hot. You get bothered, and every now and again you get hot and bothered. <laughs> well, what I want you to do when you get that hot and you need a little relief, I want you to, I want you to call me. Don't ask no questions. Good to see you today, Gloria. Like, like Good to see you too, Miss Williams. Tired him. His only son. Didn't he do it? Abraham didn't ask. No question. Thank you, baby. And that's what God expects from his sheep here at the Greater Ebenezer New Revival Tree of Life Institutional Double Rock on the side of the road to Jericho Missionary Baptist Church of Zion. And I say Mount Calvary. Y'all don't tell me. Preach on, Reverend. Ain't that the truth? God expects you to do what the Lord wants you to do. Like those of you realize that 
that the Lord wants you to give generously into his church. Amen. Don't ask no questions. Don't ask how come uh, 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 why come the pastor have to have him a nice house? Uh, uh, why come a uh, uh, pastor got to have a nice car? Uh, don't ask. I said don't ask. I said don't ask. No questions. Just give the money. Get the collection play around on that side. Nigga, get it around on that side. We gonna now have a, a B selection from the choir. I feel a spirit! Woo! That's just an mm. example of the mm. typical Sunday church. Exactly. That's exactly what it looked like. Man, that's what them pastors, that's how they were sounding. Yeah, that's yeah. exactly how they were sounding, just like that dude there, a comedian. <laughs> All right, let's go to uh, 2 Corinthians 4 and 3. The book of 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 3. But if our gospel be hid, mm -hmm. it is hid to them that are lost. Mm. Yeah, because just like uh, my brother was bringing out, they didn't even understand Deuteronomy uh, 28. They didn't it, know what it was talking yeah, about. It was, it was sad to see. Yeah, it, he said, it was real I'm sad. confused. What? <laughs> it was real sad. And these supposed to be the leaders of our people. So Adopt read that right. again. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. And they were obviously lost in the debate show that. Keep going. Mm -hmm. yep. And whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them mm. which believe not. Because they definitely didn't believe Deuteronomy 28. And I don't, they don't believe in the Bible. Exactly. Ooh. Lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who was the image of God, should shine unto them. All right, let's go on and uh, go to uh, the next scripture. Let's go to Second Thessalonians. The book of Second Thessalonians, chapter 2, verse 9. Even him... Whose coming is after the working of Satan mm. with all power and signs and lying wonders and with all dece deceivableness of, a, of unrighteousness and them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth. So they see not the love of the truth. So, mm -hmm. so we know that the truth is the law. Right. So let's keep going. That they might be saved. Because you're not going to get saved if you're not keeping these laws. It's just that simple. Yeah. And for this cause, God shall send them strong delusion mm. that they should believe a lie. It's okay go. if we eat swine. We can yep. go to church on Sunday. Yep. Right. We can keep Christmas. They believe them lies. Yep. There ain't nowhere in the Bible where it say you can do any of those things. Now let's go to First Timothy's uh, 4 and 1. I'm that thing's scary, man. Yeah, it is scary to see that. The book of first Timothy chapter four, verse one. Now the spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times, some shall depart from the faith, mm. giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. There you doctrines go. Doctrines of devils. That's what we see. That Caesar Borgia doctrine, that Sunday church that he was preaching on, uh, keeping Christmas, right. eating unclean foods. All oh, everybody can be saved. All the other things that come along with that garbage that's not true. Keep right. going. Speaking lies and hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with a hot iron. Having their conscience seared with a hot iron, meaning that that thing is stamped on their brain. Caesar Borgia right. is, is, is up there. <laughs> He's at the controls. controls, yeah. At the helm. And there's no shaking him. And the brother is supposed to be a, bi a biblical scholar, and he said he didn't understand Deuteronomy 28. Like, oh, that just that. blew my mind. I mean, how hard is it to figure out who came over here on slave ships with yokes of iron upon their neck? And was sold for slave men to slave them. How are you confused about that? Yeah, Yo, I don't understand and that. And during his age, he learned that in elementary school. Man, right. that brother is a coon. Lord's will that brother repent. Yeah, Lord's will. And he supposedly ha has a doctorate. That's what I'm trying to figure out. All right, let's 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 keep it moving. Let's go to 2 Timothy 4, 3 and 4. 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 3. For the time will come... When they will not endure sound doctrine. Mm. We saw that during the debate. 
Right. Them guys was holding fast to that doctrine, even though they were getting destroyed. But after their own lusts, shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears. A lot of Christians do that. They go to these churches. We bring out the laws they don't want to hear. It. They no don't sir. keep doing what they want to do. They reject us completely. Keep going. And they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned unto fables. Mm. Yep. Santa Claus, the Easter bunny. Right. Yeah. Thanksgiving turkey. Yeah, they're getting away from the truth. We don't want to keep Passover and Hanukkah. We can't do that. All right. That's good. So let's go to. Uh, they Romans. ain't saying nothing on those topics, neither. Nah, they like, sure didn't. They ain't even addressed <laughs> that. Nah, because they got to defend their doctrine. They finished. Yeah, they, they ain't even touched that. That's why they shut the debate down. <laughs> go to the, uh, Romans 1. The book of Romans, chapter 1, verse 24. Wherefore God also gave them up to unclean, uncleanliness mm. through the lust of their own hearts to dishonor their own bodies between themselves. Who changed the truth of God into a lie mm. and worshiped and served the creature more than the creator? Who is that's it. Keep going. Who was blessed forever? Amen. Served the creature more than the creator. Who's the creature we're talking about? We're talking about Esau and his doctrine. And yep. Caesar Borgia. Caesar Borgia. Yep. They'd rather serve that than serve the, the God of this Bible. Rather than going by this Bible, they're going to hold fast to the, to the customs that they got from their slave man. And then say you don't want them, you don't give a left or right. No, we don't go to the left or the right. All right, let's go to uh, Isaiah 29. The book of Isaiah. Because this going to this gonna, gonna say everything they need to say about these passes. The book of Isaiah, chapter 29, verse 9. Stay yourselves and wonder. Mm-hmm. Cry ye out and cry. They are drunken, but not with wine. They stagger, but not with strong drink. So they said they are drunken, but not with wine. Let's get let's find out what they're drunk with. Go to that Micah um, uh, two and eleven. The book of Micah, chapter two, verse eleven. If a man walking in the spirit and falsehood do lie, saying, I will prophesy unto thee of wine mm. and of strong drink. Okay, so now that wine and strong drink is talking about falsehoods or lies. So now let's go back to Isaiah. The book of Isaiah, chapter 29, verse 9. Stay yourselves and wonder. Cry ye out and cry. They are drunken but not with wine. They stagger, but not with strong drink. So that wine that they staggering with is, is the doctrine, the lies. Mm -hmm. Who did we get the lies from? We got it from the slave master. Mm -hmm. So we've been talking about it uh, here tonight. Caesar Borgia, Christmas. Uh, you don't have to keep the laws. All nations can be saved. That's the lies that they're drunk with. That's what they're teaching at the university down there. Keep going. Mm -hmm. Isaiah chapter 29, verse 10. For the Lord hath poured out upon you the spirit of deep sleep. Mm. The spirit of deep sleep. That's the same thing, basically, what we read in Timothy's, where it talked about your mind being seared with a hot iron. Keep going. And hath closed your eyes, the prophets and your rulers, mm. the seers hath he covered. That's what's going on in a lot of these churches, because a lot of times when we talk with pastors or their members, they can't understand the scriptures. The basic things are, right. they just, it goes over their head. Yeah, like Most slavery. highs got them under a strong delusion, like right. you said in Second Thessalonians. Keep going. And the vision of all is become unto you as the words of a book that is sealed. Of a word of a book that is sealed. So it means like, it's almost like the Bible is shut. They can't even open up the right. book. Right. So right. if you got a book that you can't open, obviously you're not seeing the words. That's what that's telling you. Keep going. Which men, to, which men deliver to one that is learned. So like these professors, they learn. Saying, read this, I pray thee. And he saith, I cannot. So they said, break down uh, Deuteronomy 28 to me, man. This is a simple thing for us. I don't understand it, brother. I don't, understand so, I don't know that. what he's talking about. Yeah. <laughs> Keep going. Saying, I cannot, for it is sealed. For it is sealed. Now, he didn't say that he can't for the sealed. He said that through his lack of knowledge of the scriptures. Yeah. Right. But a lot of times, even pastors will tell you that part of the book is sealed, brother. Oh, yeah. yeah Revelation, yeah. yeah, they do. Yeah, Keep right. Going. And the book is delivered to him that has not learned. So this is a guy that maybe not had his doctor's degree, but he did, you know, his, he's passing on his own. Mm -hmm. Saying, read this, 
I pray thee. And he saith, I am not learned. So his excuse is he's not learned. He ain't got his so degree. So now let's go to uh, uh, Daniel's real quick, 12 and 4. The book and then of, we're going to jump back. The book of Daniel, chapter 12, verse 4. But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book. And do what with the book? And seal the book. Until when? Even to the time of the end. Mm. So now that's what his truth is coming out. So this doctrine they've been holding on to. How long has that doctrine been out? Man. Uh, since at least uh, Constantine. Right. Basically. Yeah. So you're looking at uh, what? 1,500 years? No, nah, more than that. Yeah, something that's like that. Yeah. 1,700 years. Yeah, 1,700 years. So obviously that's not the, the true doctrine. We, we can see right now with the times and everything, we're nearing the end times. That's why this true word of God is coming out. What's the true word? That we're the Israelites. That right. we got to keep the commandments. And it's going to make it clear when you read on. Keep going. Many shall run to and fro mm. and knowledge shall be increased. What do they call it today? The information age. Right. The, the age knowledge of information. Knowledge is increased. You can find out anything you want with the press of a button. If you want to learn how to play the guitar, you can get on the computer and find out tomorrow. Yep. If you want to learn how to cook, you can do that. Anything right. you want to do, the knowledge is increased today. Right, and it also said many shall run to and fro. That's why you got people looking at the Anunnaki, Illuminati. People right. wasn't talking about that stuff 30, 40 uh, years true. ago. People people going to and fro trying to figure out what's going on. This Bible is being unsealed. That's what's going on. So let's jump back to Isaiah 29 and go to 13. The book of Isaiah, chapter 29, verse 13. Wherefore the Lord said, For as much as this people draw near me with their mouth and with their lips do honor me. That's what those guys are doing. I love the Lord. Yeah. They had a choir up there singing. Yeah, they you know, opened up with man the choir. feminine man up there singing that song. <laughs> Talking about they love God and ain't doing nothing this Bible say. Keep going. But have removed their heart far from me. Because it's too busy stuck on the white man. Yeah, That's where their minds are. Keep and, going. And their fear toward me. Is taught by the precept of men. Their fear towards God or their understanding towards God is, is taught to them by their former slave master, passed down through the generations. Let's go to uh, Colossians uh, 2 and 8. The book of Colossians. Chapter 2, verse 8. Verse 8. Sorry. Still down there shuffling around. <laughs> I got it. it says, <laughs> the book of Colossians, chapter 2, it. verse 8. Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. That's what mm -hmm. they doing down there at that college. Yep. They're down there spoiling people through philosophies, right. their philosophies, and vain deceit, meaning Get lies. Paid. Yeah. Paid and getting paid. Got streets named after them, off them lies and everything. Keep going. After the, after the tradition of men. After mm. the tradition of men. Sunday church. You can eat swine. All that stuff. Tradition of men. That's not in the Bible. Nowhere near. After the rudiments of the world. Ooh. Mm. And not after Christ. After the rudiments of the world. Let's talk about rudiments of the world, like Christmas. Don't the world do Christmas? Right. Mm -hmm. Did Christ do Christmas? Exactly, because First John two and fifteen make it clear: if you love, the, if you got the love of the world, the love of the Father ain't in you, man. Everybody does Christmas and Thanksgiving, New right. Year's. You ain't How you any different than anybody else? You're not. Right, let's go to Titus. The Book of Titus. Chapter 2. Chapter 1, verse 14. Yeah. Before Hebrews, right? Yeah. yeah. The book of Titus, chapter 1. Verse 14. Verse 14. Not giving heed to Jewish fables mm. and commandments of men. Meaning that the, all those traditions that we learn through time that's been passed down through slavery, we can't give heed to those uh, right. Jewish fables. They right. were Jewish fables and commandments of men. It's a commandment of man to go to church on Sunday. I remember growing right. up, go to church every Sunday, go to church. That's a commandment of men. That's not in the Bible. Right. That turn from the truth. That turn from the truth. When they heard the truth, they they turned from the truth. They weren't uh, 
Talking about uh, making any changes in it, I ain't hear him say anything. No. They just gonna continue on doing what they were doing, even Talk though they got destroyed. He gonna get one of his protégés up there. <laughs> that battle, and he got embarrassed. How you gonna teach somebody yeah, higher than? How you gonna protege. you gonna build somebody up at a level higher than you are? That don't even make no sense, man. This is stupid. Yeah. Right, let's get this uh, Psalms nineteen and eight. The Book of Psalms, chapter nineteen, verse eight. The statutes of the Lord are right. Rejoicing the heart, the commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. There you go. Yeah, that's that's it. So if you want that wisdom, keep these commandments. All right. That's that's telling me enlightening your yeah, eyes, enlightening your so eyes. that book ain't sealed. Exactly. All right, let's keep it moving. The book of Isaiah, chapter fifty-six, verse ten. His watchmen are blind. Mm. That's what we saw. His watchmen are blind. They're not giving the people warning about uh, things that's coming up in Revelations because they don't even understand it. Exactly. Right. exactly. They don't understand the end time prophets. Exactly. How can they be warning their people? They are all ignorant. Mm. They are all dumb dogs. Damn. Dumb dogs. What is a dog supposed to do? Keep going. We're going to find out. They cannot bark. They cannot bark because when somebody coming in your house or if it's danger, the dog is supposed to bark to warn you. What is, how's the pastor's warning these people? He don't even know what's going on. He can't even understand the prophecy. It's a simple one like Deuteronomy 28. No, right, you look at World War Three forming up, and he ain't there talking about it's your season. What? All right. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> Sleeping, lying down, loving to slumber. Mm, they love the position they in. Keep going. Exactly. Yay, they are greedy dogs. Which can never have enough. They can't never get enough money. They're going to keep having them tuitions coming in to teach people all that garbage. And that, that got debunked. Right. And that collection plate rolling around every Sunday. Believe that. And they are shepherds that cannot understand. They all look to their own way. Every one for his own gain from his quarter. <laughs> from his quarter for his own gain. Meaning he's sitting up in his church waiting for you to come in. To give you a feel-good message that don't have anything to do with this Bible so he can get paid. Yep. And extrapolate your money right out your pocket. All right. All right, let's hit the second Peters. We're going to keep this thing moving. This Bible's a true book, man. Not in the hands of them clowns down there or any other place. If he not teaching, thus said the Lord, keep the commandments and the faith of Christ. Oh, I'd definitely be getting my money back, bro. Straight like that. The book of Second Peters, chapter two, verse one. But there were false prophets mm. also among the people, mm. even as there shall be false teachers among you. Just like we saw, and they got exposed too. Keep yep. going. Who privily shall bring in damnable heresies, even denying the Lord that bought them, mm. Mm. and bring upon themselves swift destruction. I thought that's what we saw the other night. Swift destruction. It most certainly was, <laughs> because that recap summed it up. Yeah, it definitely did. And many shall follow their pernicious. Per pernici pernicious ways by the reason of whom the way of the truth shall be evil spoken of. Mm. We, when we, didn't, when he called, hey, yeah, he was, he was calling us evil. He was calling us devils yeah. and everything else. He was calling us devils. We're reading Rory God. Man, this scripture right scripture here up. is describing the whole thing that went down in, in that debate. It's crazy, man. Yeah. So let's go ahead and roll another classic footage, this Vampire in Brooklyn uh, video. Yeah, start it. Yeah, go ahead. Preacher Polly. Preacher, I'm Preacher Polly. <laughs> Preacher Polly. Yes, how are you tonight? Read, read her. Read her bit. How are you tonight? Yes, yeah. yes. I, I, I've been tossing about this this case that I'm working on. Who are you tossing? Right. I've been having these these really strange feelings. Strange feelings? You tossing? Yes, and I just felt that I needed to talk to someone that I could trust. Oh, well, then you come to the right place. Come on, Linda. Now, you're tossing and you're having strange feelings and you're tossing. And, and then I heard the voices. Voices? You heard voices? Yes, like mm. they were inside my head. Voices in your head you've been hearing. Really? I mean, does this make sense? Is any of this possible? Well, sister, you'd be surprised at things that's possible. Well, I guess I'm just afraid of ending up like my mother, you know? Afraid I might be losing my mind. You're afraid you're going crazy. That's good. 
Well, I mean, it's good, you know, to get that out. You can't leave that inside you. If you feel that you're going crazy, tear people. You got to let it out. What oh. you need is an outlet. Well, actually, I, I, I get it out of my paintings. Oh, you paint? Yes. Well, that's interesting. Good to paint. Yes. Yeah, well, you know, when I was young, I used to paint only oh, Preacher Polly, Preacher oh. Polly. Come on now. Everybody's waiting. Well, I don't know if right oh, now. Oh, go ahead, good... Preacher. Go well, ahead. but right now, I'm talking to the young man. Yeah, the Lord waits for no one. Well, now, come on, know. get your buddy in here. Right now, I'm not a good time. He's got a good time. they tell you every Sunday though when they tell you to hold the traditions of men that's exactly what they're telling you he just out in front with it let's get the scripture it's going to describe that madness Uh, the book of Isaiah chapter 5 verse 20 woe unto them that call evil good what woe unto them that call evil good destruction under them and good evil because that's what he was doing and that's what your pastor doing Mm -hmm. that that put darkness for light Mm mm-hmm and light for darkness mm. that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. There you go. Don't the pastor say East is good? Yeah. And it's evil. And that's right. swine good. Yeah, and that's evil. God is in this house. That's evil. That's not in the scriptures. The earth is his footstool. How you gonna build the most high house? <laughs> them, right. them, everything in there is one big lie. Yep. And then when you bring out the scriptures, them demons get to running. They had to shut down the debate earlier that they set up. They sought they sought the bishops out. Mm-hmm. That's that vain glory on them. They not they not trying to produce uh, push this truth. They trying to add to their foolish record. And when them nukes hit, it don't it ain't even gonna matter. The book of Second Corinthians, chapter eleven, verse fourteen. Okay, go ahead. And no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Mm. Therefore, it is no great thing if his ministers also be tran- also be transformed as the ministers of righteousness. Mm. Ain't that what we just saw? It wasn't he supposed to be a minister of righteousness, but everything he put out was <laughs> of Satan. Exactly. Every Sunday that the the read that again. Therefore, it is no great thing if his ministers also be transformed as the ministers of righteousness. The, the scriptures let you know it ain't no great thing because there's many of them out there that's right, transformed that. into ministers exactly. of righteousness and, and ravenous wolves on the inside. Isn't isn't it in order for you to be righteous, don't you have to be keeping the laws, uh, Deuteronomy uh, 6, 6 and, and 25? Uh, and 25? Exactly. Mm. Okay. There you go. 
whose end shall be according to their works. That's a and bad ending. We already end. know what that is. That's going to be a bad ending. Right. The book of Ezekiel. Let's get, yeah, let's get that Ezekiel 2 and 7, bro. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 2, verse 7. And we still, we, the topic is still on these brothers. And, that, and thou shalt speak my words unto them, mm. whether they will hear or whether they will forbear. So our jobs and even the pastor's jobs. They're supposed to speak the most high God's words right. unto the congregation. We not read one scripture and say you out of context. Right. right. Whether they're going to hear it or whether they're not going to hear it. Read on. For they are most rebellious. Because the house of Israel is a rebellious house. Now let's get uh, the next scripture in Jeremiah 5 and 14. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 5, verse 14. Wherefore thus saith the Lord God of hosts, mm -hmm. because ye speak this word, behold, I will make my words in thy mouth like fire. Mm. That was the bishops. That the bishops, the captains, the officers, they spoke the word of the Most High God. Therefore, the words that came out was fire unto these false pastors. Mm. And and that's why they were shut down. Like officers said, they came against the word of the Most High God. It wasn't... Uh, these pastors came up against the Bishop, bishops yeah. as individuals. Right. It wasn't that. They came against the word of the Most High God and was shut down. And this people would, and it shall devour them. And mm. it burnt them up. Let's get, uh, before you get that other one, get Jeremiah 23 and 29. Real quick. The book of Jeremiah. Staying on the word is a fire. Chapter 23, verse 29. Is not my word like as a fire? Most I say, is that my word like a fire? Read on. Saith the Lord, and like a hammer that breaketh the rock in pieces. Mm. So it broke all of their doctrines into pieces. They brought, they, it, it pretty much showed them, like we said earlier, it made them look foolish. Their own congregation was like, man, uh, how can we join up with these <laughs> other brothers? Yeah. Right. I, I know I had to get my, I be having to get my chickens back. I'm going to tell you straight. Right. That John was horrendous. I'm going to get this. This is Matthew chapter 22, verse 15. It reads, Then went the Pharisees and took counsel how they might entangle him in his talk. So it, it, during this time, they tried to entangle Christ in his speech. But if you stick it to the words of the Most High God, mm -hmm. you cannot be entangled. That's what these crafty pastors was trying to do at that time. But the brothers, the bishops, they stuck directly to the scriptures. Mm. Uh, let's get you got Revelations. Yes, sir. Eleven. Revelations chapter eleven, verse three, and I will give power unto my two witnesses, mm. and they shall prophesy a thousand two hundred and threescore days. So the Most High God saying He's going to give power to His two witnesses. That's the house of Israel, mm -hmm. the southern and northern kingdom. There you go. And they will prophesy what? A thousand two hundred and threescore days. So that means they're going to go out and teach the people. Mm hmm. Clothed in sackcloth. All right, this is the book of Ezekiel, chapter three, verse eight. Behold, I have made thy face strong against their faces. So, so look, we're in front of these pastors. Remember these, bro. I got all of these doctors. Mm -hmm. I got all of these degrees. <laughs> that did not shake these brothers. Why? Because we come in with the words of the Most High God. And right here, the scripture is going to let us know. The Most High God made our face strong against their faces. Read it. Thy forehead strong against their foreheads. Uh huh. As an adamant harder than a flint, have I made thy forehead. Fear them not, neither be dismayed at their looks. Fear them not, neither be dismayed at their looks. Meaning, don't be afraid that this brother has all these doctrines. Mm, don't right. be afraid that they got their own school. That's right. They got their own town. Fear them not. You speak my words. This is why these brothers, they went down there and embarrassed them. Because the most already gave us warning that we would have to do this. That's in Ezekiel 3. Matter of fact, in Ezekiel 3, it says we are the watchmen. We're supposed to do this. It's our job. Let's get a, that's it on that? No, though they be a rebellious house. Because the house of Israel is rebellious. Moreover, he said unto me, son of man, all my words that I shall speak unto thee, uh -huh. receive them in thy heart and hear with thine ears. Mm. Right, because we're supposed to receive the words of the Most High God and then teach the people his words. Mm. The book of Psalms, chapter 119, verse 98. Mm. Though through thy commandments has made me wiser than mine enemies. So hold on. Through the commandments 
the keeping of the commandments. These pastors were told that. Mm -hmm. That's how you get understanding. That's how you get the knowledge of the Bible, by keeping the commandments. For they are ever with me. Because they forever with the Most High. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 3, verse 11. Mm -hmm. And go, get thee to them of the captivity. There we go. We're uh, supposed to go teach our people. Unto the children of thy people, mm -hmm. and speak unto them, and tell them, thus saith the Lord God, mm -hmm. whether they will hear or whether they will forbear. So, once again, whether we, you're going to hear or whether you forbear, the Most High said, you go teach them my words, not your own motivational speeches. The book of Isaiah, chapter 62, verse 6. I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace day nor night. Mm. Mm. Ye that make mention of the Lord, keep not silence. See, it's saying we're not going to hold our peace. We're going to teach the Most High God's words. And give him no rest till he establish, till he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. The Lord hath sworn by his right hand and by the arm of his strength, surely I will no more, I will no more give thy corn to be meat for thine enemies. Mm. And the sons of the stranger shall not drink thy wine. For for the which for the which thou hast labored, but they that have gathered it shall eat it, and praise the Lord, and they that have brought it together shall drink in the courts of my holiness. There you go. That's what we getting keeping the commandments. We're gonna go back to home, and this is uh, Isaiah fifty eight and one. Cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and show my people their transgression. And the house of Jacob their sins. That's our job. We're supposed to show them their transgressions, their sins. Tell them to repent. Return back to the Most High God. Keep his commandments. Get us uh, equal 3 and 17 real quick. Since we short on time. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 3, eight eight verse yeah. 17. Son of man, I've made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. So hold on. The Most High has made us watchmen unto the house of Israel. Israel, not everybody, to the house of Israel. And remember how officer brought out the watch those watchmen, they don't bark. They are dogs that don't bark. They don't give warning. Read on. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth. So once again, we're supposed to hear the most high's words. Read on. And give them warning from me. That's what we doing. We mm. giving the people warning from the most high God. When I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die, mm -hmm. and thou givest him not warning. Nor speaketh to warn the wicked from his wicked way mm -hmm. to save his life. The same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at thine hand. So we don't want your bloods on our hands. That's why we tell you repent or die. Right. That's why we bring the laws out to you. Tell you keep the commandments of the Most High God and faith in Christ. Read on. Yet if thou warn the wicked and he turn and he turn not from his wicked wickedness, mm -hmm. nor from his wicked way, he shall die in his iniquity. But thou hast delivered thy soul. Okay, now get the uh, Nehemiah yeah. 8. The book of Nehemiah, chapter 8, verse 8. So they read in the book of the law of God distinctly and gave the sense and caused them to understand the reading. So that's, that's how we're supposed to do. We're right. supposed to read the words of the Most High God and give the sense, unlike these pastors. Right. And with that, we say shalom. 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 And breathe into his nostrils the breath of life. And breathe into his nostrils the breath of life. What's that? The spirit of the Most High God. The commandments of the Most High God. The Bible says from Friday at sundown to Saturday at sundown is what? No buying or selling. That's the Sabbath day. We keep that. The Bible comes commands us that we wear fringes. That's what you see in all the brothers. We keep that. And that's why we're here, to teach our people that. That's the answer. Shalom, this is, I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, 
please make sure to subscribe to this and join our UIC chat to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.